The other day in my video, I noted about how people um, don't really care for Linux because it's not like Windows. Well, this, uh, what you see here, is like Windows. This is the KDE desktop, which is open, and this particular distribution is OpenSUSE 11.1. I'm going to zoom in here because I figured out how to get the magnifier to work. This is the outside magnifier from the Macintosh, but I figured out how to get it to work inside the virtual machines for Linux. So I'm going to zoom in here. And first of all, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want to see it. But just so you know, this is your desktop folder. You have access to my computer. You have your web browser, office suite, online help, and then this basically brings this up. This is what you'll see at the very beginning when you log into the system. You can get rid of it if you want, but this just tells you how to how OpenSUSE, what what it is, uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, and of course, we have an introduction to the KDE desktop, which I'm not going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and close this because I want to have as clean a desktop as possible. Let's start down here. This is the K application launcher. This is the equivalent of the start menu. So let's open this up. And we have favorites, applications, computer, recently used, and then we have our shutting down. And if you don't want to go through the menus, you don't have to. If I know what I'm looking for, for example, if I type in Copete, the Copete Instant Messenger pops up. It's a full. It's a search engine um, within the system, just like Windows Vista. Um, let's say I want to go onto the web. I think I'm spelling that right. The Conqueror web browser. So it's just it's the exact. It's it's the same thing. You've also got your favorites here, and the favorites. That's basically all the stuff that you use. It automatically comes pre-configured with some things. You've got web browser, which is Firefox, so actually this comes with two web browsers. You've got your personal information manager, which is Contact. You've got the OpenOffice.org writer for your word processor. It's right there up front for you. You have the audio player, which is Amarok. Uh, Digicam KDE3. Uh, incidentally, the version of KDE we are running right now is KDE version 4. Uh, the file manager, which is Dolphin. Uh, you can configure your personal settings, you've got help, and then you've got access to the terminal. Under my computer, we've already f seen applications. Under my computer, you've got things like system information, installing software, uh, administration settings, um, your home folder, your network. You can log in as root. Now, the root you want to be very, very careful of because the standard user does have access to a fair amount of things but at the same time they don't have access to everything you need to log into root in order to have access to everything and when I say everything I mean every last little bit of information so you want to be you want to stay out of the root folder unless you absolutely have to get in there or if you know what you're doing I'd say both um, that is the CD on board because I have this virtual machine assigned to a disk image. You've got a floppy disk. And then if you want to go to recently used, we've got some recently used here. Now, obviously, this is blank. And then we've got our power off options. If we go back into applications, let's go into Office. Now, I'm going to click here on Office. And boom. Just immediately goes into your office stuff and if you want to go back out you just click this left arrow here boom it's just like it feels a lot like Windows and let's see where shall we go next let's go to the internet let's go to the web browser and you've got two web browsers to choose from now I already showed you conquer uh, Firefox and Ubuntu so I'm gonna show you conquer this time uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet go to my video on how you can use Linux on a daily basis 
A Conqueror is a web browser, file manager, and user universal document viewer. So Conqueror is the KDE equivalent of the Windows Explorer. Um, it's used as the web browser, and it is used as your file explorer, things like my computer. So let's go to a website. It's pretty obvious I was going to go there. <laughs> But it's just like it was on um, Ubuntu. The only difference is that you have a much more familiar Windows look and feel to it. You minimize and maximize. Or, I'm sorry, shrink and expand as you minimize. And then if you want to take a look and see what, ha what you have open, there you go. You've got YouTube on Conqueror. And, I'm sorry about that. Um, if you want to go into my computer, you can. Um, let's do that. And let's go into the... Why don't we go into system information? So if you want to know about your system, this would be the place to go. Um, let's go into my documents. Now, obviously, this is empty, but you will notice that Conqueror is open again. See? My computer on desktop one, Conqueror. That's the same thing here. Because, again, Conqueror is your web browser and your file explorer. And take a look at this. You've got four desktops with which to choose from. And you've got your applicate you've got your taskbar. Um, aside from the standard start, you've got um, I don't know what the plasma desktop is, but you have access to the file manager, web browser, device notifier, you've got your desktops here, here's your open apps. And then you've got things like the clipboard, the um, software updates, your volume control, and your let's see what the green globe is. Your network connection. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the KDE environment. There is a KDE form under Ubuntu. It's called Kubuntu. Now, I didn't... You can, if you already have Ubuntu, you can go ahead and install the Kubuntu interface. The reason why I didn't is because the last time I did that, the splash screen got altered to the way to the point where, even though I logged in as known by default, it gave me the KDE splash screen, and I just thought that was weird. But this, is, this was just a quick overview of the KDE environment and how Linux can look and feel like Windows. Comments and questions are welcome. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening.